The equation gives the estimated height above the ground h in feet of a signal flare in Battlefield 6, where t is the number of seconds since it was thrown. If this equation is graphed in the xy plane, which of the following is the best interpretation of the vertex of the graph? So you are totally fine to do this one in Desmos. I will do it in Desmos after we kind of go through it by hand. Um, but this one's really convenient by hand because it's already in vertex form. Remember, vertex form is going to be your a value times your x minus your h squared plus your k, with your h and your k being your vertex. Another way to think of it is whatever gets me 0 in my parentheses is my x, so a positive 4.6. And then on the outside of the parentheses, your k is just straightforward, just 67 for my y. So my vertex is at 4.667, and we want to attach units to that too. So when my t, or when I have 4.6 seconds, I reach my maximum height in feet of 67. So looking through my answers, the signal flare reached a height of 2.7. That's not going to work. The signal flare reached a height of 4.6. Not going to work. We see 667 feet, but it's 2.7 seconds after, and then in D, 67 feet, 4.6 seconds after it was thrown. If you do kind of want to see what it looks like in Desmos, I just graphed my equation, and it's super nice on Desmos because I can see all my important points. Sometimes my y-intercept is going to be important, right? Most of the time, my vertex is going to be important. There's your 4.667. And then other times when it hits the ground is also going to be important. That would be zero height and then 9.5 seconds. For this one, using Desmos or by hand, we're going to get D here.